Hey everyone, how is it going? Uh, today I want to talk about this unit in Alexandria that uh, was selling for uh, 600,000 a few days ago and it's currently selling at 550. So uh, let's let's jump in. So here we have a, uh, the medium unit price in Alexandria for the last 20 years in green. And in blue, we have the instances where this particular unit was sold. So this unit was sold back in 2011 at uh, 380,000 and then at uh, 2014 for 500,000 okay so if you take the current price so this the first time uh, this unit was listed at 600,000 so it'll be around here and then a few days later it got listed for 550 so it'll be around here right so given that this unit is a one bath one bedroom one bath uh, it's understandable that it's cheaper than the the suburb average or the suburb medium so initially it was selling for 20% less than the medium unit in Alexandria, then at eight percent less, and more. And currently, it was selling at thirty-three percent less. But then a few days ago, it was changed to thirty-nine percent less. So um, it's quite cheap. And I just want to point out, like, if we were to compare, like, buying the the medium unit back when this unit was bought, and if we see like the total market return, you would look at something like fifty-nine percent. Whereas this unit alone, and assume that they managed to sell that price, you will see a 9% increase. So uh, largely underperforming the, the market, right? So that's interesting to me. Um, so next, I want to look at the other indicators that, that we have on Alexandria and just to try to assess the overall health of the of the Alexandria market, right? So here we have the population line and the dwelling count line. And I think of this in terms of the supply and demand. So, so for the past 20 years, the population in Alexandria uh, has grown for at about 135%, and dwelling pretty much kept the same pace at uh, one to uh, 33%. Right. So, um, so, and then we, if we compare that with income, so income has gone up quite a bit. So we start off in year 2000 at about 150. Two dollars per week, and it's currently sitting at uh, twenty six hundred dollars. Uh, so that's quite a big, quite a big increase, uh, and that can be seen in the in the median property price for the period, right? Yeah. Next, I want to look at the mortgage uh, stress and and mortgage price. Right. So in green line here, we see the monthly mortgage cost, let's call it, uh, which is uh, going up. So as pr uh, property prices go up in here in purple and on the bottom, and as incomes go up, also the the monthly payment of a property is going up, right? So nothing, nothing too shocking here. So we start off at 200, uh, 2100s, and we're currently sitting at 2700s, right? And in orange, we see the, the mortgage stress. So that's the percentage of mortgage holders which dedicate more than 30% of their take home pay towards servicing the mortgage. That's the census definition of market stress. So uh, we start off here at about 13%, which is a bit high, and then we drop to seven, and it's currently sitting at 17%. Um, so just, just as a reference, the average in New South Wales is about 30% in market stress. So Alexandria is is not that bad, to be honest. Okay, so here we have the same thing, but for rents, right? Uh, so the blue line is the medium weekly rent, going from uh, $330 uh, all the way to uh, all-time highs of $581 a week, and, and had a bit of a decline uh, in the past five years, and set, sitting at 556 a week, right? And rental stress, Rental stress uh, is sitting at 27%. So it's a lot higher than mortgage stress, but that's usually the case. Um, and given that uh, Alexander is right around the Sydney CBD, especially with the whole pandemic and like people moving away from city centers and towards, you know, the outskirts, you know, of, of Sydney, of like more like residential zones, you know, like working remote, this new dynamic that we have, it kind of makes sense that uh, we saw this decline in, uh, in renters, in rent, rent price. Okay, last chart here is the uh, percentage of owners in, uh, in, in green and percentage of uh, uh, mortgage holders in, in orange. So we are currently sitting at 33% mortgage holders and 12% uh, 
owners you know, outright. So that means that the majority of, of uh, people who live in Alexandria are renters. So it will be for 55% are renters, which in my view, it's it's not a great sign. Like, you know, you know what they say that you, you should always buy a house in a, in a, in a street that has lots of uh, oak trees, you know, like, you know, those like a hundred year old trees and because it's, it's, it's a stable market, you know, it, it don't have a lot of like construction work. You don't have lots of, I don't know, shifts in the market. Let's say it's like a steady growth. So every time I see a, a suburb with majority renters, I personally don't find that very attractive. I rather have may, maybe like a, a more distributed of like 30, 30, 30, percent of each. So, because, it, yeah, anyway, but it's just my views, you know, feel, feel free to disagree, guys. Okay, so in the last chart is the occupancy rate, right? Uh, it's doing something, something interesting, curious, curious here. So, uh, it's kind of going up and down, but hovering around the 90% range. So, between 91 and 89, and it's currently on a downtrend, right? This could be, uh, we have, could be a... Uh, a concern for the future. Um, to me, this this seems a lot like the the video I did a few days ago about the Redfern mark. So Alexandria and giving it its uh, next to Redfern, they share a lot of commonalities. Let's say majority renters, occupancy rates going down, uh, unit prices. They haven't seen a, a decline in price yet, but we see individual cases where people are selling either at a loss or uh, selling for almost no profit. You know, after holding for several years, like th like this case. So I'll just I could just maybe put them or, or and other suburbs in a bucket and just create a kind of a category. You know, of a metropolitan Sydney, like most mostly renters, and just kind of analyze the dynamics of all these suburbs combined. If that makes sense, I, I might do, I might do that in the future. Yeah. Okay. So these are these were uh, those are my takeaways. Uh, feel free to comment below uh, if you disagree or if you think I can uh, improve these videos. If you have any suggestions of how I or like other data sets that I can include, I'm thinking of adding uh, interest rates. That would be interesting to see, you know, and especially compare with price. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.